up until this point in the class, we have been computing a lot of derivative of elementary functions. We also learned about the chain rule that allow us to differentiate composite functions. But they are all of the form y equal f of x. y is expressed explicitly as a function in terms of x. However, in this section, we will look at curve and relation that are defined in terms of both x and y, where y is a function of x. Let's first look at the expression x times y equal to 1, where y is the dependent variable and it depends on x, which is the independent variable. And this expression is given to us implicitly in terms of x and y. So it is different than the thing that we've been used to, um, that y is always a function of x itself. And in this case, we ask the similar question. What is y prime? Um, or what is the derivative of y with respect to x in this context? Well, let's look at the first method that we can use to solve this problem. Um, it's not hard to see that we can rewrite y explicitly in terms of x as y equal 1 over x. And using the quotient rule or power rule, is it not hard to see that y prime is negative 1 over x squared in this case? But we will look at another method and the C implicit differentiation. So in this method, um, we will solve the problem implicitly in the sense um, as, the, as we are given this equation implicitly in terms of x and y. So we have x times y equal to 1. The first step here is that we want to differentiate in both sides of this equation. So we'll take the dx of x times y and I set that equal to d dx of 1. Well, we see that on the left hand side, we have the derivative of a product of two things. So we have to use the product rule in this case. So the product rule tells us that this will be equal to the derivative of the first thing times the second thing plus first times the derivative of second. And this is equal to, on the right hand side, we are taking the derivative of a constant, so that will be zero. So on the right hand side, we have zero. So let's clean up the left hand side a little bit. Uh, well, we have the derivative of x with respect to x itself. So that would be 1 multiplied by y plus x times, oh uh, well, here we have the dx of y, which is the thing that we are looking for. Um, I can shorten that by just writing this as y prime but it's also fine if you want to keep it as d dx of y um, it's just a little longer so I will shorten this as y prime and it will be cleaner that way and I will set this equal to 0 so now I have an expression that have y prime in it which is um, the thing that I'm looking for so I can solve this expression for y prime. Well, so first I will have to subtract 
Well, let's clean this up a little bit more because we have one time y, just y. So this will be y plus x times y prime equal to zero. And now I would like to solve for y prime, which is the thing that we are looking for. Well, first we're gonna have to subtract y on both sides of our equation that cancel out. So we are have we are having x times y prime equal to negative y. And now we're gonna have to divide both sides by x. So the x cancel out and it gives us that y prime is equal to negative y over x. So this is the implicit expression for the derivative the dx of y. Well, let's check to see if this solution is the same as the solution we have earlier uh, when we do things explicitly. Recall that we can write y as 1 over x. So um, plugging 1 over x into y here, we get that y prime is equal to negative 1 over x divided by x. And it is not hard to check that this is the same as negative 1 over x squared. Uh, so this is the same as the result that we have earlier. But our new result is just in terms of both y and x. And that's perfectly fine. And that's what we want to do.